What's up guys, this is Josh Nordic with the third Mountain Fit Vlog. And in this vlog, I wanna talk about why most hunters and people in general fail with their fitness goals. Because I think it's, it's something that comes at the very beginning that most people neglect. And it's that they fail to really take the time to understand their underlying motivations. So a lot of people when they start their fitness journey are like, oh, I wanna lose 20 pounds or some super superficial goal like that. They don't actually really understand why. And when you don't understand your why, it's really hard to push through those difficult times that inevitably come, they inevitably come on all fitness journeys. So this is kind of like the difference between intrinsic motivation and, and extrinsic. And when we talk about intrinsic, we're talking about motivation that comes from within. So these are the things that really matter to me and they're gonna, they're gonna last, they're gonna last a lot longer. They're not gonna be as hypey or then I'm not gonna get super jacked up about them but they'll get me out of bed at six in the morning. They'll get me out of bed at five in the morning when I need to go with that workout in, um, when I could be sleeping. And then there's forms of extrinsic motivation. And these are things like scrolling through social media, you know, and watching um, somebody's workout, like seeing what Cameron Haynes is doing with the, he's running that Moab race right now. And it's a form of extrinsic motivation, seeing what he's doing and taking inspiration from that. Or watching motivational videos on YouTube or drawing from a community or a group motivation. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not here to say that extrinsic motivation is bad because it's good um, at times. Sometimes you just, you need that little bit of extra boost and that's when it becomes a good thing. But it's bad when that's the only form of motiv motivation you have because that kind of ebbs and flows. Extrinsic motivation ebbs and flows a lot. Intrinsic kind of just keeps you going on a flat line. So it's nice to be able to pop a little bit of extrinsic motivation into your underlying intrinsic motivation. But the key is having that intrinsic motivation. So the key to understanding that intrinsic motivation is asking yourself why. So as an example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it to myself. I'm gonna go through kind of a, an exercise that I call the five whys. So basically the question is, why isn't fitness important to me? And this can be your question or it can be more specific. It can be like, why is it important to me to lose 20 pounds? Or why is it important to me to get in better shape for elk hunting? So the reason that fitness is important to me is because I wanna live a healthy life be able to play sports, go hunting, and whatever I decide to do, because I travel a lot, I do a lot of things, I don't want to be limited by my body. Um, and I believe that the more tension and pain that you have in the body, the more it becomes like a, like, a, like a spiritual, physical, emotional, mental prison that locks you in. It limits what you can do, it limits your experience, and when it limits your experience, it limits the amount of wisdom you can take. Um, and that wisdom can help a lot, can help yourself later in life, and it can help a lot of other people. So, Another reason why is that important? Because when I'm healthy, I feel better and my quality of life is better and I make it better for everyone around me. When, I, when I'm full, when my, cup is running, like, when my cup is full, I make it better for everyone around me. Um, and why is that important? Because I see this as like a positive feedback loop where it makes everything around me better, which makes the world as a whole a better place. Even if it's just, you know, just, just a nod a little bit better. And why is that important is because it gives me meaning in my life so that the difficult times that come from for everybody, you know, whether it's a family member passing on, a relationship ending, um, a job ending, whatever, you know, whatever human experience you're having that's very difficult, having meaning in your life will help you pull through that. And if you can hedge your meaning onto your fitness and onto your health, all the better because then you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. So that's why most people fail with their fitness journey. I highly encourage you to, you know, ask yourself what your goals are then ask yourself why, you know, five times. It's kind of a goal that I use with a lot of my clients. So I walk them through like, why is that important? Why is that important? And you'll probably find that it gets a little bit uncomfortable and you might be like, uh, I don't know. And if that's the case, just sit on it for a while and see if you can start, maybe write it down, write it down the next day, but just ask yourself why.